adding adding a acceleration button and a braking button is relatively easy. Let's make an acceleration button that covers half of the screen and duplicate it to create a braking button. Now we have the whole screen covered with buttons. Make them almost invisible and we're gonna have to build functions for it. So using this on click event is obviously not gonna do the trick because we want to know when we are holding the button and when we let go of the button. So this is not gonna work. What we're gonna have to do is minimize that and we're gonna add something called event trigger. So inside what we have is a array size obviously and what we need to, to know is when we press the button and when we let go of the button. So we want two functions. So the first function is going to be when the pointer is down. When the pointer is down we can click it and we can drag in our manager script. And then for the second one we want to know when the pointer is up. So we're going to click that and we're going to drag in our manager script once more. Create two functions and connect them to the event trigger. And now there's one last thing we have to do in here and that is to tell our vehicle to brake or accelerate. So since we have a controller reference in here, what we're going to need is a input manager from that controller game object. So let's do that. Let's say public input manager. And now the same way we get the controller, we want to get the input manager from that player game object. Let's duplicate that. Okay, that's going to get the input manager. And from the input manager, we want to control the vertical float value. So when we're accelerating, the imanager.vertical has to be 1. When we let go of the accelerator, the vertical has to be at its initial state, which is 0. When we brake, the vertical has to be minus 1. And when we let go of the brake, the vertical becomes obviously 0. So that is going to cover the accelerating and braking of the vehicle. We're going to hit save. And now if we try to play it, we'll see that nothing happens. And that is because we are calculating the input from the keyboard. So if you know that this build is going to be for mobile devices, all you have to do is comment everything out from the fixed update. Okay, now we're in the play mode. And if we try to accelerate, the car goes forward. If we deaccelerate, the car goes in reverse. And the last thing to do is to add the steering. If you've been following this tutorial till now, this will obviously take care of the acceleration and braking. And now we want to use the device's accelerometer. The syntax for the accelerometer is fairly straightforward. The accelerometer is a vector3 variable and what, we're, and what we're after is the x value. So the x value tells you if the phone is tilting or not. So I'm going to write imanager.horizontal is equal to input acceleration dot x and now this will take care of basically everything this value will be a value from minus one all the way over to one so you don't have to worry about anything that's all you have to do for steering and obviously if you want the steering to be more aggressive all you have to do is multiply this value so if you want it twice you can obviously do times two and now here is a gameplay from my very own device <laughs> 